So, uh, you want to go ahead and reveal what we're talking about, or should I? I'm I've been very emotionally passionate about this. Yeah, it's um So you go ahead. All right. So look, I'm just going to call them out. I'm just going to say it straight up. All right. I've noticed in the build community of Elder Scrolls Online that a lot of YouTubers specifically, other content creators such as ourselves, have been using the PTR, the public test server or realm or whatever, to uh, make their builds. Uh, whenever you, and for the people who don't know, uh, when you log on to the public, public test server, you can make a level 50 character template with CP level 3600, and you are immediately given all of the gear in the game. Uh, at legendary status, with uh, what is it? With full Mundus uh, um, traits on, and you also get max currency for everything, including transmute crystals, alliance points, as well as gold. And uh, I, I, I'm just gonna say I, I disagree with it. Like, you know, we make our builds. Uh, it takes us quite a while. And it, because it's for good reason, like we test them day in and we test them, you know, every day and the day to day gameplay specifically, like, cause you know, if a build doesn't hold up to in, day to day play in the actual game, by the way, right? Like when you're playing on the public test server, the only people you're going to interact are you or the people you bring in. There's not many people in the cities and there's not many people out in the world specifically. So all resources are basically free. As well as, like, you're not going to do Battlegrounds and you're not going to do uh, any type of dungeon content unless you're doing it solo or with the group you brought in. And I, I just disagree with it. Like, you know, when you play the character day to day, you're going to get the character, like, you know, more worked out. If you can make a class and have everything unlocked, like, from the get-go, you don't even have to have the class at max level. You can just create a template, like, and that creates a real issue when recently I was looking through a lot of Hack the Minotaur's videos, and I'm, I'm like I said, I'm going to call him out specifically because he is, he is one of the top uh, creators for builds, and he creates builds quite regularly, like, very regularly. And I was looking at his old, uh, some of his older builds, and... I noticed that we haven't seen any of Hack's real characters in a year. Like, a good year's time. Uh, maybe even more, kind of. I mean, it, it leans a little bit more, but not that much more. A uh, year, maybe two, three months or so. And we haven't seen his characters at all since then. His real characters. All we've seen are these template characters who he just creates and makes a build and then shows that to the people. And I don't think that's... And it's not just him. I want to make that very clear. It's not just him, so he's not, you know, the only guy at this. But it, it kind of devalues the build, I think. Like, if you can't play the build itself, then... Like, and, you, and by what I mean by playing it, is I mean, like, running your dungeons with them, playing them day to day. If, if they don't hold up to that level of play, are they good builds? Like, and, I, and I'm not saying that his builds are all bad. I'm just saying that it creates a real issue when you're not testing them day to day. When you're creating a character, it takes maybe an hour to set up, and then you just make a video, and, and who's to say if that build is solid enough to play day to day? So, somewhere along the line, actually, let me start here. When, when you have major content creators, um, who are supposed to be educating, you know, the communities who are oftentimes paying like real dollars in support of them. And these influencers, content creators, you know, whatever your preferred term is, is they are creating content in a perfect world because that's what the public test server is 
Well, um, it's meant to test things. You need a perfect environment to right. test bugs and test features that come into the game. Right. And that's so that if it's tested in a perfect world, you know it can work elsewhere. Right. So then, like, essentially the entire purpose of the, of the pu public test server is to test, right? Um, so imagine that, <laughs> right? Exactly. So you log, you know, you log into it, and like Spy said, you're literally handed everything like 999 million gold, it's max currency of everything, max like you get all the gear, you get all, all the monster sets, PvP sets, over, and they're all categorized for you as well. Meaning that if you wanted to like throw a build together and test it. You can do that, as well as, don't forget, that the crown store, everything in it, you get 500, uh, was it 5,500 crown coins, mm -hmm. uh, and they're all, everything in the store is one coin. Like, I jumped on there today to see what it was all about, because I had noticed other content creators using it, and I, I was immediately gifted the entire automaton set that I spent three days farming, just for the mace, as well as Celine's set, and like the other set, the Briarheart one, that it was just handed to me in these boxes. I didn't have to work for it. I didn't have to, you know, actually put in the effort uh, to to know what I was talking about, really. Because like when you're when you're making a build and you're putting pieces together and you're playing that build as you put pieces together, you notice the issues or the things that come along with everything. And and without that, I feel like you're going to miss a lot, especially if you're just throwing sets together, or even if you know what sets work together, it leads to a situation where you can be telling people to go farm a set that you yourself might not have even farmed. If you're in the public test server, you did not farm it. And, and All right, so here's the thing. You, and anybody listening to this can can have their whatever opinion about it. Like, look, you know, they're attacking, coming into this community and attacking people, trying to get some kind of fucked up personal gain out of it or whatever. But here's here's my real issue with it is something got lost in translation because these these major content creators um, <clears throat> were. I mean, they were making videos with the real characters and showing what I think the right thing is, is the progression of the character. Um, well, yeah, you, you go know, from you, blues and purples to legendary. Right. If, if, if you haven't seen it, I just made a build guide on the tank, my main character, who is a sorcerer tank. I repeatedly stated throughout the video, hey, he's a work in progress. He's likely to change. Um, you know, when he does and I get things ironed out, I will update the, you know, update the guide itself, um, probably through a new video. Um, and I think that's how the process should work. It's a, it's a, it's a character that can be played. I know this because I play it in the actual game, not in a perfect, like, all this gear is handed to me, all the items are handed to me, all the everything is handed to me. Like, I have to go out and farm the transmute crystals, I have to go out and I have to farm the gear. Well, yeah. I have to go out and level yeah. up. I'm not CP level 3,600. Well, and even if you are CP level 3,600, even if you're max CP level, I don't know why you wouldn't just show that character. Right. You know, like, I, I, it's kind of weird to me. I think, and then I say weird, but I, I, what I mean is that it doesn't really make sense to show things in a vacuum, no. you know? and, all right, so maybe I'm looking at this wrong. I'll say that if I am, somebody, you know, correct me. Feel free to correct me, because I'm a big enough person. When I'm wrong, I can admit it. But here's the thing. Like, honesty and authenticity with your audience is an extremely important thing and i just feel like it's fucking lying right like it's it it does seem like a little bit like and, and i only say that because like it seems like a lot like well you're telling me to farm a set but you just got it out of a box even if you farmed it on your real character 
you're showing me the gear that you got out of a box. You're not showing me the gear you actually got or changed with traits and stuff like that. You're showing me gear that you didn't actually achieve. Right. Even if you did on your own to character. You're you're presenting a perfect world scenario and and by perfect world I'm not referencing the public test server necessarily. I'm saying you have a full set of legendaries which takes a long fucking time to get there like for mo for new players that's a long grind extremely long and, and that's the kind of people that will probably be looking up build guides most likely i right. mean and not only just new players but players who want to try a new class or do this or whatever and like if you're wanting to try a new character a new class you won't have legendaries for that character yet no and and not for a good while like uh, yeah and it takes a long time to get that that stuff together and you know even the people who are more on the top end which there are a lot who have enough materials to do that which i mean we're slowly getting there ourselves it's still like a large thing it's you know not only will you be throwing sets together to make what you want but you'll be trading them out and doing other things and you won't do that on the public test server like the templar right was using the destruction mastery set Right. And I traded that out for Burning Spell Weave. Right. But for a while there, I thought that was the set I was going to use. Right. But I went through and I made sure I got what I wanted. Right. Which means that that build has now changed because of how I was playing and how I wanted to play going forward. Whereas on the public test server, there is no forward. You just are there. You're right. at the end already. Right. You can switch in and out. You know, actually, you know what this does? This takes, so, an extremely common thing, theory crafting, right? Takes it to an entirely new level, um, which is, you know, theory crafting is all well and good and everything, but, like, I mean, you, we, want, yeah. you want a build that is viable and playable and actually works Well, day to game. day. Day yeah. to day is where it's coming in. Like, right. Because, I mean, most time... You know, it, look, these builds probably don't... Like, after he's done with them, or, or after they're done with them, they likely just delete them, or whatever. Right. And... Oh, you get to, the fucking problem is you can throw a goddamn build together in, like, 30 minutes or an hour, probably, honestly. Like... And, I mean, I was just fucking with the amount of CP levels I had for 30 minutes, probably, on my own, so... And I was just looking at it, because I saw other content creators doing it. And I wanted to see what it was like. And it just doesn't seem right to me to use the public test server. And I won't be on my builds. No. And, and I, I would about, I mean, I know you probably won't either. Not at all. And it, it, because it's our characters. Our characters are specific that we've grown attached to. And while my build might work for me, it might not work for everyone. And I understand that. But right. the thing is that this is what I have seen from my play style and the way that I play works day to day whereas i i don't know if his build works or their build works right it's built in an hour and maybe play tested for a few hours at maximum and and that's it and you can't really play test fully because unless you pull your group in right and so this like this particular thing leads to a whole lot of stuff like there are not a lot of PvP builds, um, I'm gonna guess, because most of the build guides take place in the public test server. It's, I haven't yeah. personally been on it, so I don't know, you know, to what extent, but I'm gonna guess it's probably hard to test a PvP build in a place where there are not a ton of people or certain events going on. Um, so you have that. You have, like, these builds being presented as, like, God tier. Yeah, it's God tier because it came out of a fucking box that the game gave you. That the public test server gave you, by the way. Not the game. The public test server. Yeah. Where you don't have to grind for stuff. You well, don't have to farm yeah. stuff. You don't have to, like, actually play the damn game. I, it, get it. it seems disingenuous to tell me to farm a set when you yourself had not. Right, and it's, you know what, alright, maybe you did, like, two years ago. But you're okay. not showing me the set you farmed. Right, and it's, 
you're you're not seeing the progress. You're not seeing the advancement of the character. Like our characters plug, are faulty, okay? man. Like our characters yeah. have issues, and, you and have that's to work okay. Them out. You have to work them out. Every like, and we don't have a lot of issues on our characters because we iron them out. Right. But we started with a character that had issues. And when you build, when you put together a build in a place in which you don't run into the issues very often, if at all, how are you going to go about knowing, number one, what the issues are, and number two, what a good way to iron that out is. Like, what's a good way to fix the build? Because there's, there's highly likely something wrong with it, right? And when I say wrong, like there's there's a sustain issue or there's something. Like I've watched, I'll go ahead and say it. I have watched other content creators just to get an idea of you know like what it is that most people want to see. Well, you also want to know for your own build, like right. yeah. if everyone else is like Necrotic Orb, right. which is an ability that everyone like all the spellcasters are using Necrotic Orb. Right, and so I actually mentioned that, and I believe because I use it. And, and I use the morph, right? It's, it is a good ability. Like, it's a legitimately good ability. Like, right. you pop the thing off, it damages shit in the area, and you go about your day. Like, you don't have to stand, you know, you're not channeling, you're not doing whatever. You, you don't have to stand yeah. still with it. And you wouldn't know about that ability unless you, like, watched a content creator and stuff like that. So, when it comes to it, like, yeah, like, we watch a lot of build guides as well. I mean, hell, a lot of my build guides... We're like, you know, I watched the build guide. I thought the idea was cool, but then I, you know, I did my own thing. And, I, you know, it's really an issue, I think. Because now I know a lot of my builds were, like, when the basis on some of them were, like, someone else, you know, had made this thing in a perfect world, and that's why I adapted it. It's not... Right. It's not because... It didn't work. Right. It's because it, it doesn't work in the real world. Right. And and the problem is, is they are being presented as, hey, this works. Do exactly this. You don't have to fix it. It's the way it needs to be. And here's like, all right, shameless plug. I'm sorry. It's just the most recent thing on my mind. So when I was going over the stats in the Sork Tank build, like I've got well over 30,000 resistance. And I'm only CP level like 407 right now, okay? Some of these build guys have like 17,000 resistance and they are 3,600 CP level. Like, and what the, the fuck is that? And they're considered like unkillable. Right, unkillable my ass. Come duel me. Like, I okay. guarantee you, and I know this from practice, like my warden does not have high resistance. Like, he just doesn't. But I don't claim him to be unkillable. I claim him to be, like, more barbarian-like. Right. And that's kind of where it's at. It's like, you know, I took my losses where I took them. And I made my builds where they are. Because that's what you do when you make a build. When you, when you add something to one thing, it tugs on the others. Right. And taking high crit, for instance is gonna pull away from a set that might add a lot of damage. Right. And, but whenever you can have the best of both worlds with perfect itemized gear, it just, it leads to illegitimate. It, it's not It's not a straight up answer. No, it's not. And, and so, so the word perfect brought something to my mind. So something I've seen that's, that's a fairly common thread, it's not, you know, in everything, but a lot of builds reference the perfected sets that you get from Trials, yes. which are exceedingly difficult to get. Especially for newer players. Yeah. I mean, like, you're not going to go into a vet on your own. Even, yeah. even like, relatively seasoned players are not just going to get this stuff. Like, they're just not. Well, so hell, it's, yeah. it's not a good answer, right? Like, some of them do go about, you know, they're like, alright, well, if you can't get this, then this is a good substitute. Like, like, no, the build's predicated on you having the perfected whatever it is that came out of the trial, right? Like, Well, hell, I mean, I even, st I struggled a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at the game, I would say, but I'm not the, you know, I'm not, like, god-tier or nothing, and 
And so, you know, I, I struggled pretty bad whenever it came to uh, uh, Velistra, or I can't remember, I don't know how you say it, but the Ve the Veil something arena yeah, uh, in in the Rift, and I struggled hard on that one, you remember that, I mean, yeah. and, and I mean, it took me a while, and I got what I needed out of it, and, and I was happy with it, but it took me a little bit to get, and it, and it's a little upsetting, I, I would say, and I wouldn't say upsetting, that's not exactly the right word, but it's a little... It just seems wrong to me to claim to people that this is an item you need to get when... And are easily like, capable of getting is how it's presented off Right, and and I get that. You know, it might be easy for some players. It might not be for others. And me, it took me a while to get, but I got it, and I was happy with it. But it just seems wrong to tell me to go get it when I, I know that character you're playing on didn't. Right, and that, that's what it comes down to. Even if he's the same character as the one on live, I know that character didn't. Right, and I know that, and knowing that makes me think that the character might not be able to. It puts it puts a hint in my mind, and, and it, it kind of sours the video. It does, yes. It's th so little backstory here. This is kind of been a developing thing that we've been slowly noticing and it's yeah and it's kind of it's kind of evolved out of like look when we put out it's hard it's hard to say that it's hard to say really anything about this honestly without sounding like we're trying to benefit from it in some way but what what the whole point is is this like if you're on our channel and you're watching something like you're watching live gameplay right or you're, you're watching yeah. a real you know or you're watching a rundown of a real build that somebody plays like one of the two of us plays it well yeah when we play it day in the day game. yeah yeah like so, we, we don't just throw these characters together with this is our character no these are our actual characters and, right and while some of them may pull higher damage or lower or whatever right these are the characters that we chose to play and these right. are the characters that we play together with groups this is the characters we run trials with, or right. not trials, uh, arenas with, right? because uh, we don't really raid that much. But, you right. know, and it, we even PvP on these characters. We throw them at things to get what we want, and we do what we need to do to get to where we want, and we right. we, we play these characters, and and it, it kind of sucks, because, I, I don't know, it just seems wrong that, you know, we put in the effort... And we learn our characters, and we learn what we can do with the characters, and then when we show them, we show how the character is, and how we play them, and how we, like, how we rotation, like, the rotations, and things like that. And then right. people can come in, and they can have all the things we have on a character they aren't really playing, and just claim that it's a full character. Right. And it's, so, to clarify, when we do a build guide, it's... You know, it's it's like all build guides. It's it's a it's a starting point, right? Right. You you adapt it based on your personal preference and what you intend to do with it, um, how you intend to play. If you're a person who plays a lot of solo content, you know you you ad you take that build and you figure out how to adapt it in order to be able to play solo, right? Like maybe you pick up a companion, you change a few skills around, you change a few sets around, whatever you know. Just some, ex that's, I guess, just I mean, a few yeah. examples of, like, well, the what warden the point himself. is. I mean, like, I run the um, subterranean assault whenever I'm in a group, but whenever I'm alone, I typically swap out for growing swarm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a little adaption, but that's something that, like, you know, I do quite regularly. Right. And, it, and yeah. It's, I think what bothers me the most about it is this. If you can't show a character or or anything like i've seen gameplay videos where the entire gameplay is taking place in the public test server like, which, which just that? that's just that that right there rubs me real wrong i i yeah. really I, that pisses like, me off a little bit i'm gonna go on a little tangent and it's how are you gonna play the game on a public test server and pass it off as real Right. Like, you're not playing on a real server. You're not competing for world bosses. You're not competing with the rest of the game. Like, the amount of players that play the game, you don't see them in the world there 
because right. it's a test server. Right. Which means, and, and that also leads to him not, he's, these people aren't using the server for its use anyway. No, they're using it to play the game in a vacuum. Like, do you even play the game, bruh? Like, and, I'm really upset about it because I want to know what these characters <coughs> look like, their real characters look like. Yeah, and it's... Because I want to know. Like, I actually want to see it. I want to actually see who you play. I'm not saying it because, like, I'm like, oh, let me see your real character. I'm not like that. It's like, right. let me know. No, I, I am a little bit. A like, little bit. It, but It irritates me and rubs me the wrong way that most of the content, like, there are videos that are... I don't know how much, like, most most people probably don't have a lot of editing knowledge, like, video editing and producing knowledge, but there are videos that are on some of these major channels that people watch for, you know, to, to get information. The video frame itself is zoomed in in a way that keeps you from seeing that they are playing on the public test server. But if you just look... Yeah. Again, if like you watch... little hints. And, you know, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to call them out inherently. But I'm going to say, you look at his stream, mm -hmm. and his gear is purple, but you look at his videos, and his gear is legendary. Right. And that's a, that's not... It's not there, okay. There, there's something wrong there. It's not okay. Like, that's... if you're, if your character is wearing purples, that's what he's wearing. Right. Like, I, I want to know your character. I want to get to know the character. Or, or not even just know the character, but I want to know, like what the character does like right. how he interacts with the world he's in right i don't want to know how the character acts whenever he has no opposition right like if you're sitting at a public test server and you're looking at a build and you have this whole idea of like what you want like the it's sky's infinite you yep. have all the passives exactly. already unlocked yeah you have everything max leveled like yep. You can literally throw a Warhammer on and be just as good as if you threw a bow on. Mm -hmm. And yet, you, the player, may have never fucking even used a bow. Right. Like, who's to say that these builds are actually fucking confident? That, that I think, goes back to the theory crafting thing, right? Yeah, you can sit and talk and, and you know, have this idea, all right, look... I'm gonna beat this dummy up and see how much damage I can pump out. Like, I've watched some of these videos of these unkillable characters. I ain't nowhere near CP level 3600, and I'm pumping the same amount of damage. And I'm a fucking tank, okay? Like, I'm not DPS oriented. That's, there's something wrong with that. Well, it's because they're thrown together in an hour. Like, they haven't had time to iron out or even learn the rotation fully. Right. Like, if you threw me on a character and and you were like, here's all of his abilities, you read out everything to me, mm -hmm. and I played it for an hour, I still wouldn't be... Right. Like, I, I wouldn't know what to do with it fully. Right. It takes time to learn the character that you made. Yeah. Like, and that goes back to even old RPGs. Yeah. Like, that's that's something you learned in D&D. &D. Like or or if you didn't play D and D dungeons like uh, Dragon Age, right? Or Morrowind or Oblivion. Like it doesn't matter. Any of these older games, right? Like, your character, you don't cheat for the character, right? You don't spawn in with the Lord's Mail. So that brings up. All right, this is how I look at it. Game Genie, Game Shark, same fucking thing. Okay. Like, that's what this is. If you're playing the game, to play the game in a... Well, it's a bubble, really. Yeah, you're, you're playing in a bubble. What you're doing is you're playing in an environment that is not meant to be played like you're playing the fucking game. It's just, it's wrong. It's dishonest, man. It's, it's, that's what it is. It's dishonesty. Well, yeah, I mean, like... At the core. Yeah, it, like, I don't, like, I, look, I get it, I don't get it. But what I'm saying is, like, if you have, like, low gold, like, say, you, I don't know, you got, like, 5,000 gold, or you got blues still, or right. whatever, like, people might be ashamed to show that. Right. But, like, I don't know why... That's no. your character, man. Yeah. Like, you, so what you got blues? So what you got purple? Like, 
gear matters in the game. It does. Gear is very important. Yes. But skill with your character matters more. Yes. And not only that, but like you have to know how the character works. You have to be there in the game to 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 do it. Like if you threw me in a dungeon with people that I know, I'm going to do really well. Right. But if you throw me in a world where I don't have all those people, it's just me and I can I can throw 70 points into whatever abilities right. knowing that I already have all the passives unlocked right. like it it's it's a mad alchemist situation right you know like you just start throwing things at a wall see what sticks right and then it leads to builds that aren't actually final fi like they're not finalized no you can't finalize a build in an hour you can't no and i think i think that's something that should be repeated because like i change my builds like even as I'm playing them, like I've, I've picked up abilities that I'm just like, you know what? I have some extra skill points laying around, and I always keep extra skill points laying around for this reason. Like, right. sometimes I'm just like, man, impulse actually would work here really well, right. even though I never use impulse. Right. But I picked it up for that dungeon, and guess what? It paid off for me. Right. And that, so, builds not being finished kind of comes back around to the point of um crap i had a thought and i may have forgot it well let me get on to this real quick it, it's well while you're thinking <clears throat> i just don't think it's i don't think that you can make a character at level 50 with full max level cp and claim that it's your real character even if like even if it is the same gear, right? And and the issue is that, like, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem valid when I know that character didn't do anything. Right. So, all right. <clears throat> I think that's all I'm really trying to get out. You know. They're not even these. So these built guys, when they when one one of the top content creators show you a build they don't even announce hey yes. I'm on the public test server yes. this build was built on the public test server you, like if you're gonna look I, I can get behind you using the public test server for that if you claim it right just claim it like right. don't don't try to act like you're not and like and because it, it's clear that you are Right. It's very, yeah, it's, very clear if you look at it. Yes. And if you've ever been on the public test server, you know it. Yes. So, like, I didn't even have to know it. Like, a week ago, I, I was looking at one of the builds, and I said, I think he's using the public test server, and you went, he better not be. Like, you know, because right. it's like, what the hell? And yeah, then, they're not presenting it as, they're, they're, not, they're not forthright in that information. They're right. not saying, hey... I'm on the public test server. I, just, I threw this build together in 15 minutes. I haven't really tested it. Like, but, like, I get theory crafting. I understand that. Yeah. But theory crafting only works in theory. Right. Like, that's, that's, that's the whole point. You like, know? you know, it's kind of like one of those situations where, yeah, you know, I don't know if anyone here, like, on the audience, like, knows about cars that much. But,. Like, if a, if a car manufacturer tells you a certain statistic about your car, mm -hmm. and then it turns out that that's not true... Right. Like... Gas mileage, for example. Right. Like, right. Volkswagen had that situation where right. they were basically, you know, fucking with the gas and making it look like they had better fuel mileage. And right. Nissan had that issue as well back in the 90s and the 80s where they lied about the actual horsepower numbers to get it past regulation. Right. So... It, it seems the same way. It's like, you know. It is. It's. I it's, don't know it's what you. Very much the same thing. I don't know your character, and I don't <clears throat> think you do either. Right. It's. There's enough of it out there. Um, I can't like we went through some videos before having this little uh, conversation here. We went we went through quite a few videos um, and can't could not find any recent. And when I say recent, like past year, year and a half, maybe a little some, bit longer. Some of some of them, I think, had a few builds uh, more recently. 
I'm going to say six months to a year on most of the bigger ones. Okay. So, that, that's still a good amount of time to have right. not seen a real build, like real character being played in the game against other players, not like... In a perfect world test server where you have everything handed to you, like you don't have in the game, you probably don't have. I won't say you don't, but you probably don't have a full set of legendary. You no. also probably don't have, you know, the the monster, the exact monster set you're after, in the exact weight that you want it in. And if you do, that's good for you because you achieved it. Right. Not because you just were handed it. Right. Like, I'm going to throw his name up again. Hack the Minotaur. I was looking through his old videos, and it's been since January that he made a video. January 2020, that he made a video with his actual character. And in that video, his characters were in purples, and he has like a thousand gold, and it's whatever. Like, that's a character. Right. That's an actual character. He played that character. Right. And he threw himself together with that character, and he... he owned it he owned his own character right and he's claiming that this is his character which is like that's good right but then his, he had a pvp video or he had a pvp build guides and on his own um playlist the last video was in april of 2020 and it was the time it was whenever he made uh when he made the switch to the PTR, and then he, I haven't seen, and that, in that playlist, there is no more videos after that. Right. So which... That's a good indication. That's when public test servers started. Right. So, I don't, I don't know exactly why people are using the public test server, other than to buff up these characters to an unhealthy level. Like, and these are not characters. These are, these are... The image of potential, and potential is useless unless you actually can achieve it. And right. you can't ever reach your full potential. No one ever has a like a full potential reach. And it's because, like, and I know this is kind of like getting off into like, you know, spiritual stuff a little bit, but it's it's true. Like, you don't reach your full potential. You do what you can do at the time you're doing things. Right. And because potential is it's not a thing it's 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 what could be a thing right so potential characters aren't characters and potential builds aren't shouldn't be considered indicative of what you're going to be playing right like so i remember the thought that i was having earlier <clears throat> the we were talking about um you 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 had made mention that that uh builds are never exactly finished yeah and which is true like i admitted that in my own build guide video you know look it's my build is not finished my main character is not finished right. i already know that i already know i'm gonna rework it and even if it is finished next patch it won't be right exactly so, so but so here's there the the build guides that you can find are presented as finished builds like here you go get the skill set get these gear you know enchantments what? traits whatnot everything all you know race mundus and all that stuff don't ever change it it's all you ever need like bullshit get the fuck out of here that's it just really is all there is to it no like, it, it's a it's it kind of feels like they're implying that they like they know more mm -hmm. than more than you when they're playing on a server that has infinite resources right and there's you know what like all right I, i'll i'll give it this there is some level if someone's been around long enough in the game there is some level of um authority figure right like, absolutely there's you've always seen the changes yeah played the game as it's adapted and changed and stuff and i know that like the, the champion point system here recently changed i don't know exactly when but before i got to cp levels so it changed actually i remember so it changed the patch that you came into the game okay so i didn't see that um personally 
So, you know, there is there is some aspect of um, authority figure, right? Like you're an authority on this particular subject, and it and it can apply to any subject, right? Like it can apply to ESO, it can apply to a different game, it can apply to something that's not gaming. Yeah, like I mean, they're master craft welders in the real world, right? Like, so, you, like if you want to know how to work on your car, you ask a mechanic, right? So you have that, and I, you know, like I said, I'll give it that. But here's the thing: you, you can't if you're if you're going about, and I don't uh, like. I agree with you. I don't know for what reason that the PTS is being used for all this content, but. If that's the case, like, I cannot take, I personally can't take, and I, I really hope anybody listening to this, put some thought into it, some, like, real thought into it, um, and understands the implications of playing the game on the public test server. I have a hard time putting any kind of stock into what you're saying, what you're telling me, like... Well, it, I don't know what you've done in the game. Right. Like, like I, how do I know? Like, and, and I mean this. Go like, farm this gear. Like, you didn't fucking farm it. You got it out of a box that was handed to you. got welfare right. legendaries. That's the term I was yes. going to say. Yeah, it's fucking lo- where f- welfare legendaries. Yeah. And it, it pisses me off, man. Like, dude, if I don't know your character, all right, we've been playing together since you started the game. Mm-hmm. And here's the issue is that I... Like, I've seen the content you've done, and you've done content that I haven't been there for. Right. But, when I look at your gear, I know what you've done in right. the game. I know what you where you've been, right. I know what you've achieved, and I know where you may be going because you've told me. Right. Alright? But whenever we see a build that is, like, already perfectly itemized. Right. And exists in a world where there is no future of that build. Like, this is the maximum potential shown. Right. Like, straight up. I cannot, like, and and remember, this is not the character that you play. Right. Because it's on a testing server. Right. So, I don't know where that character's been, and I don't know what you've done in the game. Like, how, who's to say, and I mean this, like, and maybe this will get be the kick in the pants to... to tell them like hey maybe we should show our real characters right is that like how do i know that all these big content creators aren't just cp 160 characters who have never once done a trial right How, how do i know that how can i look at someone who's making content telling me what is the best builds mm-hmm. and and actually tell that they aren't just like, how do I even know they're not even just level 30 people? Like, how do I know they even play the game? Right. You don't know that. Like, fun little fact. Um, anytime that I'm logged in to Elder Scrolls Online, so playing either playing by myself or playing with Spy here, we are live streaming the gameplay. Now, you might not hear us talking... That's you know his personal preference. We haven't got all that worked out yet exactly, but yeah, we're we're not quite there to full streaming, but we we like to show what we're doing. We right. like to show the game that like, we're just playing and and show that we are actually playing the game. Yeah, right. Like now more so than ever, honestly. Like I, I was doing it before just so you can kind of like see you know what's going on and if you feel so inclined, like. I mean, you can we see yeah. my username. You can come and interact and play and whatnot because that's what this is about. It's about building community, right? And we just play. That's like, the thing. Like we, like how many times have we just run off to go farm a dungeon? Right. Because we wanted one piece of gear. Right. Like, you know, when I was trying to get the freaking treasure hunter set, which I've, which, which is funny because I've scrapped it. Right. Like I don't even wear that anymore. But you wanted it at a right. time, which means that that was part of your build at a time, which right. would have maybe made a video. Like, it took forever to get all the pieces, and, you know, the unfortunate reality is, is, guess what? 
fields aren't ever done really like ne not necessarily no or some better idea comes along and you scrap it or you scrap you know where you were going so like yeah you know i'm wearing spinners and the mark of the pariah now like i don't have the treasure i still have it but i it's not on my character now here's the thing like we try to get a build guide done at least once every month <laughs> right yes and that's because it gives us enough time to play the characters to test things to throw abilities at them to, right. to throw gear sets that we just like how many times have we been playing found a set in game and went oh that would work really well here or right whatever because we're playing the game we're seeing gear thrown at us meaning that right. we're thinking about where we're going right and uh yeah so all that right and that's just lost Right. When you go to the public test server, all the all the things that could happen to you to shift what you're thinking and maybe make a better build go out the window. Yeah. Whatever completely. whatever you're playing on the public test server is is is, is just going to be that. And that's it. You know what the All right, so here's like there's a couple of purposes for a public test server. Number one, find bugs in the game, right? Yes. Find things that don't actually work how they're supposed to work. By the way, speaking of that, Elder Scrolls Online, ZOS, if, Zos, if you're hearing any of this, fucking fix the goddamn Clockwork City quest, okay? I can't <laughs> pick up the one piece I need to get the training dummy because this new patch broke it. And that's why the public test server exists. That right that there. That type of thing. Yeah. And then there's there's also this. Like, patches come out. They, you know, rebalance something. Like, all right, so in this most recent, you know, the Waking Flame, they have um, made changes to the light and the medium armor skill lines. So what do you do to find out, you know, what, what the optimal, like, combination of light and medium is? You log yeah. into the public test server and you go, all right, six one, <coughs> uh, five two, four three. See yeah. what works best. Well, right? you, yeah, you For copy your, your character. character. You copy your character over. Right. You throw things at them. You test it around, and then you go back to the main game and and fucking do that. Right. And see if it works there. Because because that's not your character. Like, it's fundamentally not. It's not. So if you're throwing gear at them that's legendaries, you're not actually playing the character. No, because... You are just you just want to know the numbers. Right. That's it. And that's fine. Is it, is it possible that this is the best combination? If it is possible, let me go test it in-game. Not right. in the test server. No. I've tested it there. Now it's time to go put it to work in action where the rubber meets the road. The test server. Works. The test server at maximum, like, and when I'm talking about when it comes to build making, is just to see the raw numbers. Right. Right? You want to know the numbers you'll end up at. Right. Or if you change a couple pieces, it's an easy way to know that. Right. Without actually having to go do all the farming, you can quickly know a couple things about where you want to go. Right. That's, and even then, I still recommend just playing the game and figuring it out as you go along. Right. And that's, you know, maybe that's preference. I'm the same way. Maybe that is preference. Maybe it's not. I just think it's the right. I, I agree. I, would I think say it's, it's the right way to go about doing it. I think it, it is preference. And because here's the thing. Like, if I, when I played World of Warcraft, like, yeah, I probably would have, like, I never logged on to the public test realm there, really. Did you cube, girl? I did not. Okay. I was just so... But, like, here's the thing. I was actually on the Legion beta. Mm -hmm. And there I was testing things out before the game released. Right. Like, I got in, and I fucking really enjoyed it, because I got to play the game before it came out. Right. But I was testing my own class while doing it. And while right. I was playing, I was reporting bugs. I was, you know, anything that was broken. Like, I, I did my due diligence, but at the same time, I was getting information. Right. That information being... Well, what's the better stats to run? Or what's the new abilities and how do I use them? So I got a lead advantage, but I wasn't focused on that. Right. As you shouldn't be 
Right. Because the public test server is a perfect environment for you to be testing bugs in the game and how it breaks. Right. Because it's going to break. It's yeah. an MMO. You change one thing and then you got, like, the Clockwork City now has a broken quest. Yeah, this... So I was reading the patch notes for this most recent, the, the Waking Flame DLC, and I was... I was quite surprised by how extensive um, the changes were. There's like combat changes and just things that are like fundamentally been in the game forever, you know, since the game has existed. Um, and I don't know, you know, maybe maybe not a lot of people know that, maybe they do, but... Small tweaks. There's a lot of small tweaks. Yes, there was a ton of small tweaks, and it's... And when you go to doing that, you're going to have, you know, things are going to break down. Um, and, it's it's and highly likely that things are going to break down because coding is not... It's like, not straightforward. No. Like I, I, I coded Java, JavaScript, and dear God, if you forgot a semicolon, you fucking broke the whole program. Like, it was, it was, it was bad. But with that, I want to, I, I, without digressing too far and getting off subject here like it just really freaking like it really fucking bothers me that all these authority figures around um elder scrolls online are are showing you a bunch of bullshit that they didn't go do and that's what it is like i i really don't care who thinks what 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 yeah. your opinion is about that statement like they're you're getting well, shown a bunch of bullshit that nobody went and did they just threw it together in a matter of it, like if you, I, yeah. if you hand me all that stuff i can put a bill together in fucking 15 minutes yeah okay? like i i almost feel like if you hand everyone if you handed someone perfect legendaries it doesn't even matter what their build is they're gonna pull 15k dps yeah like, like they're 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 gonna perform well you have you have Bloodthirsty, okay? You have Nernhorn. Yeah, all you the traits. You can't get that shit. Like, you don't just get it. No, like, it's, no, it's, yeah, you have to farm for it. Yeah, it's difficult to get. Or you're going to spend a good amount of money, more than likely. Now, every now and then you come across a cheap piece in one of the guild stores. I did for Bloodthirsty, like on the rings and the amulet. I but, did not. I mind we were expensive. Right, it's, it's, it's not a guaranteed thing. It's not, it's not easy to come by. And if it is, like, if you do find it on a researchable, you know, like, piece of equipment, it may or may not be cheap. It's more than likely not cheap because people know it's not an easy thing to come by, right? It's a it's a player-driven market, which is which, part of the game. Yeah. Which, by, I mean, we know that a lot of people in the game have a lot of gold. So, like, to them, it may be cheap. But it's still, like, there is... they have is, 999 million gold? That's the thing. I don't think many people have gold cap just sitting and if yeah. they and if they do, like, they're spending it on resources, or they already got resources. If they're already there, they're not looking at a build. No, no, they're not. They're not looking at a build. If you're already at CP three thousand six hundred with with gold cap, you're fucking done. You yeah. beat the game. Yeah, you beat an MMO. Like, and I'm, and that's good. <laughs> like, and that's the thing. Like, I'm like those people should be proud of their work. But yes, absolutely. But it gets diminished when the build guides are just that. Like, yeah. they're all the same thing in a perfect situation where... I mean, like, I guess, you know what? I'm going to say this. Maybe those builds are unkillable. Because there's nothing in the world there that can kill them since no one's playing it. Right. Like, alright, it's unkillable. Come on in. To the real game, not the public test server. And duel me. Yes. Let's let's, let's put your that. builds to test. Like duel me, or you know, fucking look. If any of those big content creators want to come on a dungeon run with us, I reckon I, I would be okay with it. Yeah. Like any, and I, if they see it, I don't know if they will. Right. This video, but if any big content creator wants to find us in game. Our characters are shown to you in our videos. You now know our names in game. Come find us in game. Run a dungeon with us. We won't even have to record it. We can or cannot. Doesn't matter. And we'll just we'll run a dungeon together, and we'll see how your builds that you built on the PTR face out in the real world. Yeah. 
I, I'm real. Like I'm saying that. Like, and I get it that we're a small channel, right? Right now, and and that's okay. You know, I, I'm okay with that because I'm gonna build it off of integrity, my own personal. Yes. Like that is yes. That yeah. is an excellent, excellent word to describe the goal here. Like I'm gonna build my builds in the real game, no matter what. And then, and I get that these other builds make a lot more views and they get a lot more traction because they're looking at legendary items right. and they're looking through all these really high end stuff. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, but when it comes to it, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick true to my builds. Right. And my builds are real world. Right. And I'm upset that while we've been making real builds, right. people are out there making things on a server that have nothing in front of them to stop them from just producing gold. Right. It's it's like <clears throat> it's like these videos like like create meta. And that's well that is yeah. awful. That is an awful concept. Like meta in and of itself is an awful concept. That's something that we've been very transparent about like our opinion on. The meta's but, shift, but I think that no matter what like meta build and you're gonna get locked into that yeah because the thing about it right and, and this is kind of, i mean a little bit of conspiracy you know put my tinfoil hat on a little bit but let's you know you're on a public test server you don't test the build fully right. likely if you do you pulled guys in from the main game to come try it out with right you. and so you you're testing it you don't have a place to really fully show it or, right. or or play it through its full extent. Right. So you're gonna go with what is the meta or the safe options for your abilities. Right. You're not gonna test around. You're not gonna try new things. And you're not gonna figure out if this ability works here or this ability works here. I think some, like, because a lot of the builds I see have the similar abilities. They don't shift. And they don't try new things. Right. Which I feel like... I'm always trying new abilities. Right. Like, and I, and that's what the game's about. It is. It's learning. I've gone so far as to turn off the skills advisor. Yeah. In, in, like in game because I don't want like any kind of that kind of thinking in my head, right? Because those those also are built off of some kind of meta like concept. Well, yeah, by like, the developers themselves have have basically right. said, here's the safe options. If you play this, you'll perform. You right. know, we'll perform within reason. Right. And uh, I, I really think a lot of them don't branch out more because they don't have a place to properly test it. It's, because they're not in the real game. Right. And it's like, so as an example, um, one that one that I can think of off the top of my head, the uh, summon... What is it? Summon Volatile Clan Fear, or not Volatile Clan Fear, but what is it? Volatile Familiar. Yeah. And um, Unstable Clan Fear. Right. So the recommended skill is actually the Familiar. I took the Clan Fear. For right? real? Yes. Yeah. Because, like, it just, I mean, it's its not. It worked for you. Yeah. yeah. And it's. I don't want to get stuck in a situation, and it's not the recommended, you know, skill to take. But I don't want to get stuck in a situation, even though I don't really have health issues or or issues taking damage and stuff like that. But well, you if act, I get yeah. the pinch, like I want to be able to heal, and I'm not a healer. Like I'm not taking a bunch of healing abilities. Well, so. it's because you're also while well, like, no matter what you're doing, you're playing the real game. Right. Which means that sometimes you got a solo ship. Right. And which means that sometimes you don't have a healer sitting in your pocket. Right. So that build had to adapt right. to the world within it. Right. You can't focus down being real fucking damagey. Right. Because sometimes you're going to get hit in the face and you got to learn how to come over that. Right. Like... It's just it's looking at I don't know I, I don't I don't think I realized it at first but like the more immersed I get into this game the more that I do realize it it's like 
they suggest you know a particular gear set or or whatever it is and like all right so i have the gaze of Sithis mythic item which you know comes from the anti the antiquity system it is a very grindy like piece of equipment to get it's 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 a extreme investment it's five pieces they're spread out all over the place like, how long did it take you to get that forever well, how long took, would you say i a month yeah it probably took me a month yeah you were really farming at it like you've been farming at it since yeah about a month or so yeah and you got it and now like now you that you to, got it how does it feel it's it's well worth it right you know it's, now imagine if you got that out of a box it, like it you would just be it I would just, just be like, all right i got this thing it would just be another item right because it's, that's what it is right but it, it doesn't change it, it the realistic impact of something in a in a public test server which is completely full like completely safe right you don't understand or you can't can fully conceptualize the the real value of an item you farmed for right there's there's difficulty in behind like that comes with these things right like so in getting this particular piece of gear i ran the same delve for like a week i ran two public dungeons for like probably two weeks kind of alternating because i was getting tired of staring at the scenery <laughs> yeah automaton situation yeah here. right it's the automaton mace all over again like but it's, I, that's never gonna leave my mind i'm that's burned in. right and it's but it's an experience it's a part of the game to make your character more optimized and right? see the thing is i could have just queued for it <coughs> i could have and it probably would have been a little quicker but i wanted it odds are somebody else is gonna get it yeah or, yeah or the thing is it doesn't even matter if they get it it's like i can solo it I'll throw my face at it and solo it. Right. And, uh, like, while I was trying to get the Burning Spell Weave set, I'm throwing this fireball at people, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole time, I can just... I, mean, I just feel it. I'm like, I know when I get this, it's gonna be really fucking powerful. Like, I know it, because I keep doing this thing, and I keep throwing the fireball at them, and I'm increasing my damage because of my staff, but, like, right. what if it was another 500 spell damage on top of it? Right. Or like, you know, and I'm starting to think about it and like I'm playing it and how I'm playing started to adapt to mm -hmm. if I had that set as I'm farming it. Right. Like I'm already adapting my play style before I even have it. Right. Which, but if I had it, well, I'm not really adapting it. I, this is just how I exist. Like this is how my character exists as he started. Right. It's not, I didn't learn to play a certain way. I just exist in this way now. Right. I think it's, I think that, so the main message, I'm not going to speak for both of us, but I will speak my mind on this. I think the main message that I want to get across to anybody in the audience who watches, you know, when this video comes out or when, it, you know, in the future they come across it, I want anybody who supports this channel, you know, just by viewing, the, like watching the videos to understand that there is going to be an expectation that you can expect integrity and community really like I can't just hop on and go play with a character who was built on a public test server and now does you know probably doesn't exist like anymore like I'm sure after it was after whatever you know build video and and it doesn't even stop there really i've seen gameplay videos that are also in the public test server quickly, i may have said that quickly i want to say if these were real characters yeah hack the minotaur pays more daily for race changes than i have in my wallet <laughs> it's it's just it's un like what's what's become the accept, accepted standard is just it's i don't i don't fathom it because operating in that fashion you don't interact with your community other than like maybe conversation you know comments on youtube videos or whatever it is like you might the the most 
the most interaction you're going to get is something of that level. Now, streamers may be a slightly different story, but I'm going to guess that the people that rely on these things often probably don't stream all that often. So, and that's not what we're about here. Well, it's, it's a contradictory. It's it is. Contradictory. It's highly it's, it, it's When you show a character in full legendaries, and then you're playing a character in purples. Something doesn't add up. No, it's straight out fucking wrong, man. It, it, it just it's is. fucking lying to me. Don't lie to me and tell me you farmed a set. I will not listen to you tell me to farm a set if you haven't even farmed it yourself. No. Like, it's, it's bullshit. It tells me that there's no value in doing it. So I'm likely to go look. Like, I've been running... <clears throat> so I've been running a set of quests trying to get access to a crafting station for one of the characters, another real character that I have that's, you know, I'm trying to work out in game, in the real game, not the public test server. And it's, you know, it's a grind. And, and it's, it's difficult. I've been seeing you getting your ass is. beat by some dragons, like, man. I had to fucking kill dragons. Like, that's that's not an easy task, I right? Don't. Like It's <laughs> like you, I see you grinding it. I see you farming that shit. Yeah, and it's, I perceive it as worth it. I have, you know, I've done the theory crafting, if you will, but I've looked at the attributes that it gives you, you know, the, the full five piece set and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? That'd probably work on the Dragonite, like, because it's going to be a PvP build. Um, and that's, that's you planning your stats. Right. It is. That's not it's, you having the stats. No, and it's not... It's also not... I'm not coming up with what exactly I'm trying to say here, but it's just not... It's 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 fucking real. It's not... It, like, somebody yeah. just, didn't just hand it to me. Like, I, I perceive value in it because I've looked at it. I've thought, you know... Thought about it in combination with other sets that I know that I can go get and yeah. where to get them. And the value is also taken away from how much of a grind it is. Right. So you have to balance that. Right. And there's, you know what, there's, there's, I understand there's a large, I'm going to say large, because I think that's accurate. I know there's a large group of people who don't like to grind. Look, I don't like unnecessary grind, but grind in general is part of these types of games they just they, it, it it is it's if you want something you better go get it and if it's worth having you're probably gonna have to do a little bit of grinding for it well it's you know it it really just doesn't doesn't work no PTR. it doesn't. it for the people who play like oblivion and morrowing yeah like if you just load it into the game at level one and then as soon as you walk to go talk to Cassius Cassades, the first quest. Right. If immediately after doing that, you were given a level 50 character yeah. with the Lord's Mail on and a full set of, like, enchanted gear. Right. Like, well, the rest What's of the, the game is kind of like, like, what are you going to, what's really the point? Right. Exactly. Like, I don't That's need exactly to. Exactly what I was going like, to say yeah. now. Why do I want to play the game? Well, like, yeah. Dude, I. I may, I use that intelligence, like, you know, grind, and I was drinking potions, get, what, I had my intelligence up to way fucking beyond it should be. Right. And I made the levitation potions, levitation potions, that were just wacky stupid. Right. But, I did it within the systems of the game. So, right. what did I do with those potions? I made my way to Azura Star, and I, or made my way over to Azura, got the star, and guess what? Now... I waited, I let the levitate fall off, I made myself some gold, and now I'm ready to play. I set myself up for a good future. Right. Why did I do that? Nobody if, handed it to you. Why did I do that if I could just put it in with console commands? Right. Oh, I don't know, maybe because I enjoy the game and I want to be successful right. at the game by playing the game. Right. It's... Look, guys, a game is a game. Like, it's a game. 
What's it like? Look it up. Google it. This, you know, it takes me back to what we were just arguing about last Friday about difficulty in games. Yes. Like, that, yes. Dude, you it, know what? Exactly. It ties exact directly into that. It yes. does. Like, you can't know. It, like, dude, this is easy mode. You play yeah. on easy mode and you're like, hey, guys, this thing's unkillable. Yeah. Can you believe me? I'm real I'm, good. I'm playing on novice difficulty. Can you believe how, how good I am? Right. It's. It's fucking garbage. It's the whole concept is garbage. And look, I, nah, I really don't care if anybody gets offended. I I get that we're devolving a little bit here. Where we're we're kind of being a little bit more personal with the with the like we're being a bit more ag- aggressive. Yeah. But I I just don't think it's it's not a good standard. No, it's for... it's 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 a realization that. I think more people need to come to, and and maybe you know what? Maybe some people do watch these, you know, these videos that are out there, and they see it, and they're like, "Oh, that's on the public test server," and they're okay with it. Like, all right, you're fucking wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Like, I'm not sorry. Actually, you're wrong. Like, it's that's the build. Not the what build's it's about. not done. No, the build's not, not done. Well, actually, sorry. The build is done in a perfect world, and nothing exists in a vacuum. Like. Look, just because my Templar can do a fuck ton of damage and run out of resources in 30 seconds doesn't make it a viable build. No. What makes it viable is me holding back a little bit, doing a good amount of damage, and sustaining for an entire fight. Because guess what? Right. When you're dead, you pull zero damage. Right. And when you're recharging your mana, you do, like, very little damage. Right. So... When you start to weigh it, right. like, how many perfect world scenarios are there? None. Like, I, when none. I'm fighting a boss, like, there's a good chance one of them's gonna have a knockback or something. Like, yeah. And that's, like, and that, and that, while that's not a direct tie, like, think about it for a moment. If, if ever, if every boss was a training dummy. Yeah. That's the same kind of idea to me as if I was just handed legendaries. Right. If to I'm playing to the game make a build in the test server, that's an exact. I'd say exact. That's a really, really good, effective description. It's like, look, I've got a nearly unkillable, nearly okay, nearly unkillable character. I built it that way. I put the time and effort in to figure out how to make that happen because I've got a specific purpose that I wanted that character to serve. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not one that's looked on with any kind of, <clears throat> I'll say it's probably not a role that is looked on with very much reverence, but it's a necessary role. Like, somebody needs to keep taunt so you wet paper motherfuckers don't get dead real fast. Okay? I, I sometimes get dead fast. Like, it, and it's real. You can't, there's, there's. It's, it's really difficult to balance being able to stay alive and sustain and take a lot of damage and also pump a lot of damage. It's just, it's difficult to do. And it's not, <clears throat> it's not impossible. It's just difficult. It takes a lot of thought. But like it, math, people. I mean, know? like, <clears throat> the thing is, though, <coughs> but, like, why, why even try that hard when you can just get legendaries? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it feels like maybe the reason you try... I think I'm just going to start playing in the public test server. Yeah, like, the reason maybe we try on our on our characters to achieve something more is because we see that character tomorrow and the next day. As I've said in my builds before, is you got to think of... And I said it on the Oblivion video, where I said, we're talking about how to build a character in an RPG. Where is it going to go tomorrow? Where is it going to go yes. tomorrow? That is the exact line of thought. And that is what you need to have in your mind when you're playing these games. It's like, where do I want my character to go tomorrow? Right. These builds that are made on the public test servers, I I can understand why you're looking at that and saying, that's where I'm going to be eventually. Yes. But look at it realistically. It's not presented that way. And look at it realistically, just for a moment, and think, how many chances am I going to have to be the guy who just does damage. Right. Or, like, how many legendaries do I really have? And right. is all my gear that perfectly itemized? And, right. And then like you, I've, 
I put a lot of hours in this game over the past <laughs> yeah. couple of months, and I've got one. Right. One. Okay. And I have a mythic item, but again, that's a different. Thing. Yeah, it just comes that way. But right. there's there's a lot of grind behind that too. So consider that, like, when I'm playing my character, he doesn't exist in a world where he can't die. No. When I die, when I get pushed into a corner, when my character gets beat up, I go back to the drawing board. Right. When I face something that I can't kill, I go back to the drawing board. Right. Whenever I go to PvP and I see a fucking Templar jump at me because they got buffed and they kill me, <laughs> I go back to the drawing board and also say fuck Templars. All right? Yeah. But, like, that's, that's, that's part of it. Yeah. And if you can't, if you can't envision tomorrow on a character build, then you're not really the kind of person to play an MMO much, are you? Right. And for me, too, I'll say this. <clears throat> I want to share, like, we're trying to build a community here, right? There's certain things that go into that concept. So the reality of it is, as a community is a place where people are sharing experiences. If yeah. I'm not playing the game, I'm not sharing the experience that you're having. Like we made the, you know, it's been a while now, but we, Spy and myself, did the uh, A Cut Purse Above, where we went and did the, um, what is it, Kari's Hit List for the Thieves Guild. Yeah, yeah that was like, really, really fun. That's real gameplay. It was... Like, we accumulated bounty and heat, and I watched him get, his warden get beat the fuck up by a guard. Like, I mean, I also witnessed some role players in, a, in an inn. Yeah, like, we, but we, you like, know, slight documentary, but... Right, but consider if we did that on the public test server, and like, we... I'm just gonna run through and grab everything, like, I just, well, what, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Well, I mean, the know? bounty's gonna be what, like... It's nothing because you got nine 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 million gold and, right and then not only that but you got every single fucking like yeah you can literally make a character's cp level to where you just don't have to deal with that as a threat now like you just right. clemency your way out of everything and then and then once you do all that again you just you got full legendaries you did the thing you got a title but like did you really get a title no did you, you really achieve anything if you're just given it? Like, no. and I don't mean get, like, I mean, yeah, we still would have had to travel. Right. But, like, but, like, it wouldn't have been hard because I could have just, like, I mean, I was fucking around with the public service server. And in literally five minutes, I had full riding speed and full bag space upgrades just because. Right. Like, there was no effort. There was no, like... Dude, how many times have we held off on bank upgrades? Because it's way too fucking expensive every now yeah. and then. Like, like, I'm holding off on one right now. Yeah. We're saving. And I need it. And we save up. Why yeah. do we save up? Because, well, uh, if I don't, I'm fucked. Right. Like, I can spend the money right now, but if I do, where's that going to leave me tomorrow? Once right. again, we're back to the point here. Like... 999 million gold that can solve a lot of bounties mm -hmm. that can solve a lot of issues that like and you're like oh man i want to try the dark conversion set that just came out right well you just walk over to a vendor and you just pump fucking money into it right for no cost right it's just it's i don't know it's not a thing like like in my head i envision this and you know what maybe it's there's some degree of Illusion, I guess, maybe, or something. <clears throat> but, like, I want to interact with the people who watch these, you know, the videos about the game. I want to interact with them in the game. Well, you fuck know? yeah. That's, that's a real possibility. Like, why not? You know, it's... Look, if you guys ever want to duel me, I'm sitting out inside Vivek all the time. We can go run a dungeon. We like, group yeah, for fuck. battleground. Dude, you know, it's... if we ever saw, like, if you guys see us streaming, because we're playing when we're streaming, or you come across any of my characters that you've seen in my builds, like, their names have never, haven't changed. Right. Their names are the same name. So if you look at those characters and you want to come 
meet him. Like, just come meet him. Like, we're we're just guys. Right. And if you if you want to run, playing the real game. Yeah. Like, going through the same stuff. I that mean, everybody look. Watching and if these videos if some of you guys through. are healers, like we could we could use one here and there, and we could also use an extra damage dealer, you know, here and there, and. Like fuck it, like I'm not even I'm not even just trolling, like you know, being like ah, come run me through dungeons because I'm a content creator. Like right No, like for real, if you want to come run a dungeon with us, just fucking pop in. Like if you message us and are like, hey, I watch your videos, you want to run a dungeon? Right. Like fuck, we might be running a dungeon that night. Right. Probably will be. Right. Like join us on our normal mode. Uh, run for our transmute crystals. Right. Or join us on a veteran run, even. I don't give a fuck. Like, if you want to farm a set, like, fuck. I mean, I might be needing this thumbs and out of there. Right. And, like, that's... Because we're not on the public test server. That's the thing. We're right. not on the public test server. Meaning you can come see us, and we sit outside Vivek a lot. Right. So if you <laughs> want to come to Vivek, we're there. Right. Like, we're real, play, real people playing the real game, dealing with the real th things that... All y'all are dealing with, and we and just so happen to be sharing our experience. And whenever and we see Templars get buffed, we get a little upset, just the same as everyone else. Right. I mean, because, like, I'm going to say what you said, fuck Templars. Hey, like, man, look. They're the bane, I, unless you play one, they're the bane of No, your even if you play one, they're just broken all around. They are, like, they are. Like, you know what, look, Backlash got a buff, yeah. and it does a lot of fucking damage, yeah. And I've gotten tired of it, how it plays. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually have dropped it because I don't like the way it plays, even though it probably is more damage. Yeah. Like, and, but like, then again, like, I've also been the kind of guy, like, when I played WoW, I took Vanquisher's Hammer, which is Maldraxxus, on a Paladin. Yeah. Like, and people, like, I, I told you earlier, I got kicked from a group because of that. Like, some guy kicked me. From a fucking group because I was a Maldrax's paladin. And I was like, I was top damage, man. Like, what yeah. the fuck you, fuck you talking about? Yeah. But like, that's, that, you know what I mean? Like, we, like, fuck. I will run what I want to run. And I'm going to play how I want to play. And when I show you guys a build guide, this is what I've come up to be the best right now. Right. Because everything changes with time. And we all move forward, and our characters will too. They won't all be CP 3600. They're gonna be people's characters, two guys' characters who actually fucking exist in the game. Right. And they're not gonna get deleted tomorrow when the PTR gets uh, reset. Right. Like, and they're not gonna be non existent when we delete them after a video. Right. Like, I can't delete one of my characters after a video. Those motherfuckers are holding gold and gear. Yeah. <laughs> and they right. hold backspaces and fucking Slim Banky, he's gonna stay on the fucking account <laughs> to hold 111 <laughs> items, and I'm never gonna ever delete him. Yeah. Like, look, I'm just gonna say this. Slim Banky needs to show up in a video here and there. Cause he he he's looking he's looking freaky fresh. He's a kitty cat with a fucking pimp hat. He's ready. I love yes. uh that's so funny. Well, I got that. You look, I, even though I uh, hate Blizzard Entertainment, and I have even when I played WoW, like the bank alt that you have, and if you ever had a bank alt in WoW, you know you gotta give them the pimp hat, yeah. and that kind of just sticks. Yeah. That just stays in your mind where you're like, nah, like pimp hats where it's at. Purple, purple pimp hats. That's so funny. Yeah, my bank character wore a tuxedo with a purple pimp hat, and and wow, and he was, he was, <laughs> I can't I can't not oh, laugh about it. He man. was a dwarf. He was a dwarf walking around with a tuxedo and a pimp hat, and he would look. He just he just stroll through. And then I had my hunter, who was my bank character on my other realm, and he was a dwarf called cigar, or called cigar, and his his bear was called <laughs> Waffle from Austin Powers. Yeah, the fucking. A, a crimp and a smile. <laughs> like, I can't even get the fucking line up. You want a waffle and a cigar? <laughs> fucking gold member. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. But, like, out of all of it, like, you gotta think about it. Uh, why would I, like, 
I, I play the real game, so Slim Banky exists. Right. And uh, we make these things, and we do these things, and we we play these characters, and they exist because we made them. Right. And not because they were just gifted all these items. Like, and they thrown they, together in 15, 20 minutes. I mean, I, I give them an hour. I say an hour. But, I mean, once you start doing it regularly, if you've been doing it for a year, yeah. hack the Minotaur, then, you know... You, you probably got it done in 15 minutes. It's so I want to pose a question. Um, how did how does knowing this information? How does that make you feel about the videos that you have watched? Like, is anyone really that upset about it? Is it just us? I, I feel like it's not just us. I feel like everyone kind of like understands. It, 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 it doesn't. It's not a fair playing ground or to test the character i don't no. think and, and i think even if you're okay with it you got to admit that that yeah. it's not a fair testing ground for character and potential is never met exact no and, and, you, can, and you can't interact like you 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 people follow people because they want to in some way shape or form eventually interact with them and you can't interact with any of that. Like it's it's why would you be on, real? No, you wouldn't be on a public test server to go meet Hack the Minotaur like, or any of the other creators. Right. What? Where are it's, you gonna be? You're gonna be on the game, and and if you're on the game, look. If you're on the game, come meet Slim Banky. Give him some gold. He needs it. You know. Like I'll I'll look. It's just how it is. Like I'm down to just meet people in game. Yeah, and I absolutely and I'm actively okay with it enough that I'm willing to put my character in front of a screen for anyone to watch yeah I'm not a, like and I a little bit of me thinks it's because content creators like don't want their characters followed right or they don't want their characters like their names known so they don't get like spammed in chat or something but right. like I, like I don't understand that. I feel I, like if you're gonna if, if you're a content creator about a video game, right? You're you're you gotta kind of gotta out yourself and say, hey, this is me, right? Like, and if you can't say this is me, then you who are you? You can't take part in the community that you're building, right? And what's the point in that? Well, I don't no, understand that. Like, I I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, I think we need to start a guild for spies group. Yeah. And like I think we should, and then we're gonna. I think what I want to do is we start a guild for spy, like you know, the channel, and we just anyone who wants to be a part of it, first first members in, get invited. Yeah. If you're out, if you don't log in for seven days, we kick you. And otherwise, if there's new slots, right. But otherwise, like who knows? Maybe we'll do what like Asmongold did in uh, Classic WoW, where he had. Uh, <laughs> He had a, he had a guild called Olympus, and they went up to like Olympus eleven, Olympus twelve, where like it was just all of his viewers that just wanted yeah. to be part of his guild, but his guild was full, so they made more guilds. And right, right. like I'm down to fucking do that. Maybe we'll just have you know Spies Legion two, Spies Legion three, Spies Legion four, and then we'll have one that it's like Slim Banky's bank bank crew. <laughs> and then and that's it. Like all your bank alts can come join. We'll be a part of a community. Yeah, it's but it's just Slim Banky's bank bank. Like <laughs> Slim Banky Slim Banks. <laughs> this is this is. I just I want everybody to understand. Look, this is a place where you can come and you can actually interact and be a part of a community and the people who are us creating the videos are going to interact with you as well like it's not like you if you hate right, you one of our builds you have free reign to tell it to us yeah absolutely if like, you test one of them and they don't work tell us right. call us out we don't give a like dude like for real if anyone out there is like hey i tried your build it didn't work right i didn't like it it didn't work for me right well then, all right, I get that. Maybe, maybe we can work something out with it. Right. Maybe I can, maybe interact with me in game and say, hey, I, were, I tried your build, uh, but you know, it didn't work for me. And guess what? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably sit there and theorycraft with you on it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, honestly, if someone, and I mean, I don't know how big, you know, if we, if we end up getting really big, it might be hard to do that. But still, like, while we're a small channel, right. like, anyone who plays the game, if you try one of my builds and they don't work, contact me immediately in game on youtube doesn't matter i'll i can probably throw you some other ideas that i had on the build and just didn't make the final cut right exactly because i have those abilities unlocked so if you want to know what i think otherwise just come right. out and just say something and, you, and and you can't i can't say i'm not gonna say that you can't but from what i've seen you can't go really anywhere else and have that kind of conversation it's here's the build if you can't do exactly this then do exactly this yeah and, and that's the extent of what you get now like look if my build don't work doesn't work for you i'll take it on the chin yeah and i'll 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 work with you on it because yeah. i look some i'm gonna admit that some of my builds probably just don't fit with some people's play style yeah, absolutely. I mean, my Nightblade build was really powerful in PvP. I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. But, like, who's to say if it runs well in Trials? Right. I don't I do not do Trials myself, right. so who's to know? So if some guy tried it in a Trial and he didn't, he found out it just kind of sucked, like... Right. Fair enough. All but right. I think that's, uh, I think that's a wrap-up there. I think we got through it all. Yeah. I just... I think we wanted to get the message out because I don't know how many people realize like what exactly is going on with the content that they're consuming, but I just think it's I think it's a disservice to anybody that does watch and does, you know, wants to learn and um, you know, find good starting points for stuff and things like that. Just anybody that wants to consume this content or is actively consuming this content, I think it's a disservice if you're not told, hey, this isn't real in game. Like, it didn't get built for real. It didn't, you know, we didn't do this, you know, event, achievement, whatever, that none of it actually happened for real. Like, we have a uh, video plan where we are going to go through an achievement um, that is a fairly lengthy one much like the um, Kari's hit list and you know at some point in the future I can't say when and I'm not not going to give any spoilers to what it is but um, I mean cause I there's, there are multiple types like that so there, there we'll, are. we'll leave there it a are. little for speculation yeah but I, it's it's the I guess the point I guess the point in in saying that is it's a disservice when you're being presented with information or anything of the like that is not like a legit in-game thing, right? Like it exists in the game, but the person showing you didn't do it. And I always try to make a look, not always necessarily, but when it comes to it, my builds that I make, I ma I try very, very hard to make them bulletproof. Yeah. But I feel like the guys who are making content on the PTR are just putting on body armor. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, you might stop. You might, you know, be good there. Right. But, like, what about your leg, man? Right. You know, and, and that's, not, that's not where I want to be. Right. I, my builds are not perfect builds. Right. But they are... What I would like to think of is more bulletproof in the way of con in, con in conceptualization. Right. Like the way they work, I like them to be bulletproof for their functionality. Right. Their specific functionality does never gets fucked with. You right. can't. You cannot pierce through their shit. Right. Like their specific thing. Right. But these other builds, they they're they're body armored. But they just, they're missing the soul. Mm -hmm. And they're missing the testing. And they're missing the actual player experience of it. Right. Right. I think that's a good note to end on. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. You know, grow the community um, that is an actual real community. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't help it. I just, I'm very irritated by this. So, um, like, like I said, like, sh like the video, share it, um, subscribe to the channel, you know, join our community, interact. Cause I mean, we're down for that. Like if you want to put some hours in the game, we can do that. That's cool. Like um, we're, we're pretty, pretty open on the game. Yeah. Like we, we know we never, uh, I mean, I respond to everyone who messages me. Yeah. You know, it's just part of the world. Yep. All right, everybody. Um, we will hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you all in the next video. Thank you all. See you. I got back before Jack came in. We went to go uh, get ready for recording, and I got back first, so you're hearing me for... Oh, oh hey, hey. What's up, Jack? Hey, what's up? <coughs> Trying to get situated. Yeah?